Hi everyone, in this lesson we will go over how to find the least common multiple of a group of numbers using the division method. Just want to make sure you know that the LCM stands for the smallest multiple that two or more numbers can go into. The example given is to find the LCM of 24 and 36. You will begin by writing 24 and 36 side by side and five factors that go into both of them. Given that both 24 and 36 are even, I know that 2 goes into it. So you divide both by 2. 24 divided by 2 gives you 12. You write it underneath and 36 divided by 2 gives you 18. You continue. 12 and 18 are even, so I know 2 goes in again, leaving you 6 and 9. 3 goes into 6 and 9, leaving you 2 and 3. Since nothing goes into 2 and 3, that's it. You're done. The LCM will be the product of this times this, which we call this the common factors. And this is the uncommon factor. It happens that they make an L shape, which gives you 72. To recap, you divide by a common factor of both numbers. And then you will multiply the side numbers together, which are the common factors and uncommon factors. Once again, it should interestingly make an L shape. I want to reiterate that it doesn't matter how you begin. So if I redo this question again, and I did not start with 2 as my first common factor, I would end up getting the same answer. So I know that 4 goes into 24 and 36, which gives me 6 and 9. And 3 goes into 6 and 9, leaving me 2 and 3. If you check your work again by multiplying the common and uncommon factors together, you will still get 72. So how do you use the division method on an example with three or more numbers, such as the one giving 16, 24, and 28? You start in the same way by looking for a common factor that goes into all of them, such as 2. 16 divided by 2 gives me 8. 24 divided by 2 gives me 12. 28 divided by 2 gives me 14. And 2 goes into all of them again, which leaves me 4 for the 8, 6 for the 12, and 7 for the 14. Notice how there's nothing that goes into all of them. However, something goes into 4 and 6. So now you work with two numbers only. Now you will look for a number that goes into both 4 and 6, which will be 2. That leaves you 2 and 3. Since you did not do anything to 7, you just drag it down. And now nothing goes into any groups of the number. You're done. You just multiply the common factors with uncommon factors together, which again should make an L shape if you connect them together. And that should give you 336. Okay, to recap, you divide by a factor that goes into all of them. Now, when you got to a point where there's no common factor that goes into all of them, you will look for a pair of number that has common factors and continue the process until there's nothing in common about the numbers. Just like the previous example, it does not matter how you begin it will still end up being the same answer. So if I redo the same question again, using another beginning factor, which is four, that leaves 16 with four, 24 with six, and 28 with seven, you have the same thing. Given that four and six are the only pair, I will pull out a two, and leaving two and three, and seven was not used. So you pull it down, and you end up having the same answer. What if two numbers are relatively prime? How does that help us to find the LCM? First of all, two or more numbers are relatively prime if they don't share any common factor besides one, such as 17 and 18, or 15 and 4, or 
20 and 21. So let's say that I want to find the LCM of 20 and 21. You write them down and you will try to divide them by a common factor, given that the only thing that goes into both of them is one and it doesn't really simplify the number. You don't do anything but you multiply the two number together, which leaves you 420 and you're done. So it really pays to determine whether a number set is relatively prime or not because once you know that, the LCM is so easy to find. That's it for the lesson.